Hey guys, welcome back to another video where I'm painting a fairy. Here's a little look at some of the sketches I've done recently um, that have inspired me. I was just kind of playing around and I thought I'd do a few warm-up fairies. This one I didn't like so I'm quickly skimming over it in my video. The second one here, I really liked the flow and the gesture of her pose. So it's actually the same pose that I used for the final fairy in this video. I did like her as she was, but I just found this one to be a bit simple for what I was aiming for with this drawing. I've been wanting to change up my art a little bit and make my fairies a little less cutesy and sweet and more ethereal and with more creative uses of flowers and leaves and branches in outfits. And so this is what I came up with. Sorry, I didn't film it. I was just kind of on a roll and drew the whole thing without recording. So I thought I would just make this video a paint along. Now I'm really happy with this drawing and how it turned out for a number of reasons. The hat, for one, I thought it was such a great idea to make it like a medieval cone-shaped hat that ladies used to wear. Um, and then I just kind of hung this bell on the end and I thought it was really sweet. I don't know, bells are very fairy-like to me. The lack of feet, I think it's very beautiful when fairies have sweet little dainty feet, but it also makes sense for me to have them sort of just floating and like not even really knowing if they have legs or not. Something different about this painting than my usual ones is that, as you probably noticed, I haven't gone in with any ink line work. There are no black or darker lines outlining everything. I'm just going over the pencil. I do paint like this sometimes, but I haven't for a while, and I've kind of gotten used to my fairies with their black outlines. But I've been seeing some art around that, and some old art that has no um, strong black lines, just kind of pencil marks like this. And I think it's very pretty, so I wanted to try it again. And I'm really happy that I did, because I think it makes the drawing look softer and a little more realistic, maybe? In regards to the colours, my thoughts were that her dress, um, particularly the lower part, the skirts made out of leaves, were in the midst of autumn changing their colours. And I also kind of liked the idea that the flowers kind of keep growing and changing when they're attached to the fairy. Like, I don't know about attached, but at least as clothes you know, they change with the seasons. You don't just pick an autumn leaf and then it stays orange forever. So it's like this fairy is kind of coming into the end of summer, just like me, and the leaves are starting to change on her dress and she's starting to change a bit. Maybe even her hair could be changing with it. It's got like a bit of an orange tinge to the brown. The weather where I live at the moment is coming into autumn apparently um, and just like it is every year it's been really hot for a couple days and then really cold and misty mornings and raining and then back to really hot and I really just couldn't decide what kind of painting I wanted to do if I wanted to do a summery fairy or an autumn fairy so I think this was a bit of a compromise she's in the last days of summer and tinged with the promise of autumn As I got closer to finishing the painting, I used this tiny brush here to put um, darker paint lines like along the edges to create a bit more sharpness and separation between the different areas and make it a little clearer where the edges were since I don't have any dark lines. I didn't want the shapes to be muddled together at all. And I think this worked really well. I 
I'm actually really happy with how it looks without the ink. Not that I don't want to do any line work anymore with um, inking, but I'd certainly like to experiment more with just the pencil lines and make some more fairies just like this one. I am super, super happy with how she turned out. I haven't been this happy with a fairy painting for quite a while. And I have many more ideas in this kind of realm of fairies that I want to paint out. Um, I like this actually so much that I'm thinking of keeping the original and just putting her on my wall. But I'll certainly make prints soon and possibly stickers. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.